Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. And yes, as you can tell by the opening on this video, I am reviewing an Alexandria fragrance. This one is called Italian Caramel. Um, it's sweet, has almonds, and it says it's milky. Extrait de Parfum, 30 ml, one ounce. Um, it basically says exactly what it is on the front label. Caramel. The Italian part, I can't tell you about because I'm not Italian, obviously. But it does have a strong caramel flavor. The atomizer, pretty damn good. The scent in the opening is very nice. You don't get that perfumer's alcohol. At least I don't anyway. Well blended. Um, projection on this. Probably about an hour. Um, it doesn't carry far. Of course, when you first spray most fragrances on, it's going to be kind of in the air. It's going to be everywhere. That's what this does. Uh, once the initial sprays you use die down, it puts a nice scent bubble around you, but it doesn't go out far. You're not going to get like three, four, five feet worth of scent cloud around you. It's just going to put a nice bubble around you, whoever is near you, or if you pass by them and it gets them in the air. Yes, it's going to smell nice if they like sweet fragrances. I don't think this is overly sweet. Some fragrances can be overly sweet and become clawing and give you a headache. I don't find this to be that. Um, I know a lot of people have an issue with the prices of most of these fragrances, especially if you're getting a 30 ml bottle for like 60 bucks or something like that. Yeah, that's expensive. I say so. But... In most cases, I can't say it for all of the fragrances from Alexandria, but I can say for the ones I have, a few of them, I think could be well worth the price. But I know in the comment section, people are going to still say, oh man, I don't see paying $60 or $65 for a 30 ml bottle. Yeah, yeah I get it. I understand because I said the same thing too. I actually like the fragrance a lot. Um, I'm happy to have it. And uh, if it ran out, I don't think um, I would purchase a bottle of it myself. Um, it is nice. Um, longevity on this. Got about six and a half, seven hour, hours out of this. So it's not bad. Um, I'm one of those types that if, I'm not smelling it myself. I usually tend to reapply. So yes, I did reapply this um, once uh, earlier in the day. But um, for the most part, it's a pretty decent fragrance. Would I recommend this to a lot of people? No, because like I said, not a lot of people are going to be into sweet fragrances. Not a lot of people are going to be into smelling like a gourmandish flavor. Um, me personally, it doesn't bother me. I like sweet fragrances, as you all know. Um, I tend to lean more towards those versus the more masculine fragrances. That's just my personal preference. Um, but yeah, Italian caramel. I give it a B if I had to grade one. Um, if I had to do a rating from one through 10, I would probably give this maybe a seven or a six and a half to a seven um which is still not bad so whatever the case may be if you want to check it out i would tell you to go ahead and buy but i i, I don't recommend really um paying 60 bucks for a fragrance this size if you can get a sample of it somehow or maybe you know somebody who has some that can let you um, get a decant of it, then yeah, test it out. See if you like it. And if you do, go for it. Um, but 
it is what it is guys not a lot long drawn out video today i actually have to get back to the office um i was cleaning a building and i remembered that i didn't do a video earlier so i wanted to go ahead and get this out and from the house of alexandria fragrances this is italian caramel once again all right y'all be good here's to smelling great peace